Hello, Jolene. This is for Jolene, or Soft Brown, here on YouTube. It's a reply to the question she had about importing some files from Studio Calico. Specifically, she was wanting to work with the Darling Deer word bubble patterns from Studio Calico, and her question is in reference to the 5x7 version. Now, when Studio Calico gives you your zipped files, they give you a PNG as well as an SVG. For me personally, working within Silhouette Studio, the PNG file is easier to work with. So what I do is I hold on to that image and I drag it into my document. So there it is as the 5x7 document. Now you're going to see this low resolution sign come up. And that's okay because we're not really working with a file that we're printing. So what we'll do is we'll click on this image and she's wanting to use each one of these speech bubbles individually as well as have the little words cut out. So I'm going to demonstrate how to put this word hey inside of this speech bubble right here. The first thing we'll do is click on the open the trace window. Select trace area. And there we go. Then uncheck high pass filter, turn your threshold all the way up. Okay. So then we're going to click the trace feature. The reason why we're clicking trace is because we want to make sure the little insides of these letters are cut out as well. So now we'll grab a hold of the black area, pull it to the side, and delete that image. We don't need it anymore. All of this is one file. We need to release this and separate them from each other. So we say release compound path. We're not going to need this red line around the document, so we'll go ahead and delete those and get rid of them now. At this point, you can save this file within your um, Silhouette software so that you can use it over and over. Now, you'll notice you have some little words that you're wanting to put inside of your speech bubbles. And see, now each one of your speech bubbles are individuals. So say you wanted to just use one. I'll open a new document. So say you wanted to use, at this angle, I think this one will be cuter, one of these. Let's take one of these. So let's hit copy and paste. And then let's go get our little word. Hit copy, hit paste. Now I want to show you something. Since I copied and pasted that, you see it took out the center of my letters. You're probably wanting those centers. So let me show you a better way to do that. Remember, we had to release all of these items to be individual items. So when we did that, it also made these little guys inside of your Y, your E, and your H also individual. So what you'll need to do is just gently glide over all those little sections there and highlight them. Right click and hit group. Now when you copy, you'll notice you have all of your little pieces inside of the letter just like you were wanting. So then we zoom out and we can see this is the size it's going to print just a little bit under two inches, and you can also print your word inside of there. Now, if you're wanting it to print nicely with a certain pattern, you can group these two items together by saying, make compound path. Now, when you choose a background paper, click on your object, you'll see it will actually keep that little letter cut out for you. 
So when the silhouette is ready to cut, you will actually have that word cut out as well. See, when I click on open the cut style window, it shows what areas will be cut and what area will stay. So I hope these two tutorials answered your questions today. If you have any more, feel free to post message me. Talk to you soon.